Well, we also lost the male, even though it was deformed and struggled throughout his life, uh, male elephant ear giant gourami after the microbe lift broad spectrum disease treatment, which is formalin and malachite green. The same thing I observed also about I want to say about seven or six years ago when we lost uh, another deformed but older older probably female she was about 15 years old but after one of the treatments I remember losing uh, she was tattooed her name was Tatushka uh, blue tattoos on, on white fish and she was misshapen and um, deformed even though with her we also lost a, a red tail gourami which was not deformed but also after the treatment so I think that uh, giant gourami can be sensitive to to, to the formalin treatment and uh, it's probably no coincidence that we lost three or four of them over the last ten years after such treatments even though majority of them we still had about a dozen in there which survived so it's not like it's uh, very efficient it, it doesn't efficiently kill them I guess the gourami has to be weakened either have bad genetics or weakened otherwise and then the, this treatment kills them this is exodon gourami so you have you see the teeth on the outside and they're pretty sharp actually I don't know if you remember, but this was the male that was mauled by the Piraiba at some point. So its its tail has been removed and then grew back pretty much all of it was removed. It was just a bare caudal peduncle at some point. This was about, I want to say, three years ago. So its tail grew back a little misshapen. But it always had sort of a strange body shape and um, kind of uh, asymmetric a little asymmetric uh, face, I would say, snout. So this fish didn't have good genetics and uh, it probably contributed to, to the demise.